Most of us have a little more time during the weekends to make a gourmet breakfast. And this morning, we're getting a recipe for strawberry stuffed French toast. Pat Dufresne from the Weather Vane Restaurant in Menasha is here with us. Thanks so much for uh, coming on the show. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank Let, you. Let's get started on this. How do we, how do we sure. make it? Well, first, you start off with uh, some Texas toast. You could use sourdough toast. You could use white bread. We just use sourdough because it's a little bit thicker. Okay. Uh, first step you do is we have uh, cream cheese and we mix the cream cheese with about it's about a four to one ratio of cream cheese and strawberries now we use strawberries with the juice frozen strawberries yeah because they they tend to be more moist okay so you just put like the frozen strawberries yep. and the cream cheese like in a blender yep you put it in, you put it in a blender or a mixer mixer mix it up for about a minute okay okay and then what we do is you put about maybe an ounce or two uh, in between the bread yep and you put the top on it and then what we do we cut this in half mm -hmm. and then we're going to make a quick egg uh, a french toast batter okay so to make the french toast batter we do a couple of eggs yeah i'm guessing you do more than just eggs and milk yeah <laughs> yeah we do some eggs we do a little bit of vanilla for give it a little bit of a sweet flavor okay we do a little bit of cinnamon And then we do some milk with that. Okay. Minus the eggshell. Minus so. the eggshell, of course. <laughs> it happens. We're humans, <laughs> right? Right, right. And then you mix that up. Okay. And I'm guessing we're just gonna dunk and put it in the yep. in the pan here. Yep. You yeah. wanna get your pan nice and hot first? Right. Is that kind of the key? Yep, although I'm kind of a disaster at home when it comes to cooking, just yeah. ask my wife Julie. <laughs> I usually do the stuff outside. She's good inside. Yeah. I'll tell you what. I'll start doing this. Okay. Could you? Because this is what it's going to look like. How long does right. it take to brown on each side? It takes side? about three minutes on the first side. Second side about two minutes. And then you want to take about uh, the last minute. You want to take and kind of sear it on the one side like this. Okay. Um, that way the whole thing gets done and it gets. Okay. I'll tell you good. what. I'll start doing this. Why don't you dress that up sure. for us and see what it sure looks it like when it's all done? All right. And by the way, uh, Pat was uh, generous enough to give us the the recipe for this really popular item at his restaurant and we've got it posted on our website Ooh, that looks delicious i'm going to put can i just put this in the yep, pan yep you sure can, can. nice and going it's probably Ooh. a little bit warm i have Hear a tendency, that sizzle. To, I tendency love it. to work a little bit too warm in the, mm -hmm. in the kitchen okay all right and then with this put a little bit of that is sugar. absolutely gorgeous and then we take a strawberry glaze this is just um Frosting and mm -hmm. juice, strawberry juice. Frosting and strawberry juice, yep. okay. It's and of course, mixture. again, we've got that recipe on our website. Take a look, strawberry stuffed French toast. And coming up next in our next hour, we're making a massive omelet. It's huge, like seven pounds. You won't want to miss it. We'll be right back. <laughs>